example, 53 years ago, an Italian invented a new and revolutionary kind of motorised bike. At the time, the Lambretta came in for a fair amount of ridicule. But in the 1960s, it became one of the most sought-after fashion accessories. Well, now, 35 years on, that generation, including me, are a little bit more grey and a bit more wrinkled. But we're still as passionate as ever about these machines, so much so that hundreds have travelled here to Witten Castle in County Durham, not just in the UK, but from all over Europe. Gouda, Gouda, well, it means the same thing. It's the capital of Holland's cheese country. Well, I don't think a trip to uh, Gouda could be complete without a visit to a cheese shop. No, of course not. Aha! Something Holland's very famous for. Yeah. It's tobacco. Gerard van Buren, George to his mates, is not only one of the top scooter fanatics in the Netherlands, he's also a town guide. So this is what you do when you're not scootering, then? Yes. Town guiding. Yes. And this is special for Gouda, the beautiful church we have for very, very long. This is the scooter and its natural habitat, narrow streets and alleys. Who needs a car? Well, I'll tell you what, George, it's uh, rather hot work, this sightseeing, isn't it? You can say that. <laughs> what about an ice cream? Mr. Lambretta. George's favourite haunt, naturally, and another famous Italian export, the ice cream parlour. It's as good a place as any to lament the passing of the Lambretta. The last one came off the production line in Milan in 1971. Well, George, here's to a safe journey to England. Cheers. Hope to you. Thank you well. Yes, thank you too. But will George be so thankful when he arrives in a damp and windy County Durham tomorrow for the European Jamboree 2000? Mind you, the foul weather matters not a jot to those arriving here at Whitton Castle. This is the highlight of the year for these scooterists. They're going to enjoy themselves rain or shine at the four-day extravaganza. It's been organised this year by the Lambretta Club of Great Britain under the watchful eye of Dave Welford. It reformed with about 350 members in 1978. And we peaked maybe two to three years ago with 2,000 members. Why was there a big revival of interest in the scooter? Because, I mean, really, they're, they're, they're something from the 1960s, a throwback, yeah. aren't they? And in 1978 stroke 79, there was a film Quadrophenia was made. And a lot of... A lot of the lads who were here actually, actually were extras in that film. And uh, they were the, the backbone of the Lambretta Club. And with the mod revival of 79, 80, and the interest just built up to where we were going on seaside resort rallies in those days, probably Scarborough and places like that, and there was 12, 15,000 turning up. We once had 17,500 at the Isle of Wight, it's a wonder it didn't sink. I'm Auden in the Netherlands. They've travelled from across Europe here to sail for Newcastle. You need to be a strange breed to ride one of them. For something that was meant to go to shops on, if you're going to hammer it a thousand miles across Europe. And most of the lads that ride them, they don't just take it easy. It's, when we went to Milan in uh, 1990, it was full throttle all the way. On board, the much-loved machines are tied down, just in case we hit rough weather. How far have you come? From Cologne. How far was it's, that? It's uh, about uh, 300 kilometres. Right. Uh, 250. Very close. 250. Same Very close. Olivia. And you've driven all the way on your scooters? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why? 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 We don't know. That's the problem. <laughs> I, I, no. uh, I asked uh, Ulf uh, in the cabin, 
I'm 35, what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a mixed bag here internationally. Yeah. Jacko, you're from Holland, yeah, from the Netherlands. And you, you're both from Germany as yes, well? Yes, yeah, that's yeah. right. Well now, I know you've only just recently taken up Lambretta driving, but in fact you've got quite a collection at home, haven't you? Yeah, I do. It's grown up to 43 already. 43? 43. So you've been collecting them for quite a long time? Yeah, for 10 years now. Okay, so what is it about Lambrettas? Uh, shape, the nostalgia, the driving, it drives very good. And it's not something uh, a lot of people have, because it's quite rare. A few years ago you had a Harley Davidson, but then the motorcycles boomed. So everybody had the Marley Davidson, but nobody wants a Lombretta. So you so, do? And I do. <laughs> <laughs> I want them all. <laughs> Fair stands the wind for England. Calm seas promise a comfortable night at sea as the Dutch coast fades into the dusk. The following day dawns at Witten Castle to find the wind has been less than fair to Steve Salvin and his mates. It's me, Aramis. It's me, Aramis. Good morning. Good morning, how are we doing? Good morning. Sleep well? I don't like a light. <laughs> well, I bet you were. A bit of anaesthetic last night, eh? So, uh, did you have a comfortable light here, then? Because your tent blew it out, didn't it? That's right, What yeah. happened? Well, we put it up on Thursday night, and then when I come yesterday morning, it had gone. <laughs> so <laughs> I've had to come in here. <laughs> Never to be seen again? No, well gone. So how comfortable was it? Well, it's sounded here. Yeah? Oh, better than a tent. <laughs> you supposed to slept through the machines next door as well, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Everything's sounding here. Meanwhile, for those whose tents survived, breakfast is in full swing. I mean, some people have cornflakes, others certainly tea and coffee. Well, yeah, you know, it's uh, east of their own poison, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How far have you come? Uh, it's about 120 miles from Wigan. From Wigan? Yeah. Right. Is it 119 and a half? <laughs> Somebody's time. On a scooter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's mine, the Boots and Burgess one. Well. Can you ask them how far these chaps have come? Um, questi, questi signori vogliono sapere da quanta distanza avete fatto. Io ho fatto 2480 km. 2480 km, that's about um, 1600 miles. I come, I come by, uh, from, uh, by Rome, Rome. From Rome. From Rome. All on a scooter? Rome. With the oh, scooter. Cool. All, all driving the scooter. Six, six days. Six, six days. Six days. Right. Driving a scooter. Yeah. How's you, how are your bums? Ah, <laughs> very, very ah. problem. Very problem. problem. <laughs> I have a Lambretta. I've also got one of these new automatic scooters, which is very easy to drive. I much prefer to have my Lambretta. It's just the way it is. Why? I don't know. They have a soul about them, a passion. You know what I mean? It's, it, Oh, you, you can't really put your finger on it. If you could, then we'd be able to all pack it in. I think that's why we do it, you know. It's just, just enjoyable, it still is. Even when it's raining and, you know, and your bike's not running as well as it, as it is, it should do. It's just great, you know. It's, uh, this is your last? Yeah, this is my daughter, yeah. What do you feel about Lambrettas? Do you like Lambrettas? Yeah, I love them. Do you? Why? I don't know, I just... <laughs> no, I just like them because I've been brought up with them and I've always liked them. Have you? Have you got one yourself? Will you have one yourself one day? Yeah? <laughs> you daft as your dad. Aspettiamo l'anno nuovo proprio per fare queste cose. They wait. le ferie come se fossero una cosa. They wait every single year, especially for this event, and they book their holidays and they look forward to it for, from one year to the other. It's actually quite therapeutic, isn't it? Yeah. So, Wendy, how often do you have to give it a bowl of milk? <laughs> when it starts growling at me. <laughs> <laughs> but why the fur? Well, when I bought it, I bought it for £50, and it was uh, hand-painted in brown, it was horrible. And it must have been, I must have been on my mind trying to think what I was going to do with it. And I dreamt it was covered in fur. But this yeah. has not been on for 20 years? Oh, no, no, no. I change it, I change it every year. Right. Sometimes change the colour, but always the fur. And this is the most important tool in your toolbox, oh, you say? Oh, yeah. Forget about the spanners and the socket sets. Just give me a brush. Wash and brush, I bet. Yeah. He says, he says, what's strange is that Lambrettas in Italy are less well known than they are in England. In the last 30 years. Why is that, I wonder? The main reason is because in England, 
it became a, very much of a fashion statement, particularly for mods 30 years ago. And obviously that's carried on, that's continued over, the, over that period. So really everybody here has got a few talents to thank for today at the Jamboree? Dice che tutti che sono qui hanno gli italiani a ringraziare per il fatto che ci sono la brete. Mi pare giusto. He says absolutely, and it's right that it should be. George and his wife have made it. His scooter's actually back in the Netherlands. It wouldn't survive the three-week tour of Scotland he's planning after the Jamboree. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You made it in one piece? Yes, yes. Good journey? Beautiful. A little bit windy, but uh, we a, made it. A hearty welcome anyway. Yeah, welcome. yeah, I'm very glad. Hey, Wim, how are you? Hey. Long, hey, time no Long time no see. Thank you. Jaco, how old is this one? Older than me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Why do you collect scooters, then? Yeah. That, you got one first, and you got another one to it, and you like it, and we had another one, another kind, every time, another, another... Uh... Yeah, but why do you like them so much? Yeah, I don't know. I, I get also women, I like them, I get only, only one. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm afraid so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> When you have a look around and you see all the characters, to me it's the characters. You've got mates from all over the country and, and all over Europe now. So it's as much about friendship as anything else? Oh yeah, they're very, very good friends, they're very loyal people. And, uh, they're, but like, they're not everybody's cup of tea to look at. But what, the friends are the, are the motorbikes <laughs> and the machines? No, the machines, they're just, you need to be a strange breed to ride one, I think. Strange breed, strange steed for the Jim Carner. No pony ride this. The object is to power round in a cross shape between the bales in the fastest time. Everyone gets three goes. Whoops, nearly bit the dust there. On the home stretch now, and the engine stops. Sal's steed isn't quite as trusty as he'd like. Not his best performance, and he knows it. What happened at the end there? I think the petrol has turned off, just gone down. Oh, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? Has it knocked you back a bit? I don't know what position I am now. I think still second. Still second, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, bad luck. Participation at council, isn't it? <laughs> and if participation is the watchword, then this has to be the highlight of the weekend. I think it's time for the old fellow to have some fun too. So they've come from far and wide. One or two, as we've seen, have driven more than 1,600 miles to be here at Witten Castle. And what for? A windy jaunt up Teesdale on this gorgeous summer's day. Round them up and move them out. It's Wagon's Roll. I suppose some of us ought to act our age. Ah, so what? Pipe and slippers can come later. And it's off into Teesdale. 20 miles of open road in front of us and not a care in the world. This is what I call an obsession. 
You only have to look at these machines to realize how much care and attention goes into them. This is, uh, this is a, a model, first made from in Innocenti factory. What year? 1947. 1947. This is older than me. Yes, yeah. so it's older like, like me. Where have you been in the world on it? In the United States, Canada, Europe, from Milan to North Cap and back, and Australia, Melbourne, Darwin, Perth, Sydney. All on this machine? Yeah. So how many miles or how many kilometers? Uh, 42,000 kilometers. 42,000? In uh, 142 days of driving. Yeah? Would you ever sell your machine? No, 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 absolutely. No, no. Why? No, because uh, this is my, uh, as the same, my same age is a part of me. <laughs> well, Sal, tell me about this marathon that you did. Three years ago now, yeah. What happened? Uh, we travelled from the centre of London to the centre of Milan as quick as we possibly could. Which took you how long? 14 hours and 36 minutes. Why? Well, in the 60s, it was a publicity stunt to get Lambretta into the newspapers and on TVs, and apparently Lambretta could go London and Milan faster than high-speed train. And you proved it? And so what we did is, for the, the anniversary of Lambretta, we thought we would go there and see if we could beat their time, which we did. <laughs> <laughs> The organization of the Jamboree is a back-breaking task for Dave Welford and his team, but it's a true labor of love. It's in the blood. Most of these lads have knocked about we know for 20, 25 years, and I think in another 25, we'll be like some of them old foreigners, you know, we'll be wandering about you know, with matching overalls and things. Gray hair and wrinkles. <laughs> I've got them. <laughs> We're still having fun. <laughs> I hope it's a few years before I start looking like that, but really this and all the rest of the machines here is what this weekend is all about. This is the Concourse d'Elegance and uh, our good friend George Hello. is going to tell us a bit more about it. Yeah. You see a special one, it costs many, many hours, many weeks to buy, not to buy, but to build such a machine, to right. paint. This is a special one. So the judges come here to look at all these scooters. Yeah. And what are they looking for? Yeah. Look, this is special. You know what it is? Yeah. We call that splash. When this thing was drawn in 59, there was an ink splash yeah. by accident, and they make it original. So Really? <laughs> this is really special. So how important is this then to everybody that's here this weekend? This is the reason they came here, because they want to show that they are cable to making to in original state. For me, it's beautiful shape, nice sound, but the judge can say, oh, this is original. This is not original. Oh, and he put on this, and he looked, he makes it open here, and he looks, it's closed now. Yeah. But, but the English people are most, uh, how do you say, driven, uh, how do you call competitive. it? Competitive. Competitive. Oh, right. They are, wow, they are doing two, three, four months in the yeah. a real Englishman, first a Lambretta, then his wife. You know a lot about him, don't you? Yeah, but not all. I got some friends who knows much, much more. <laughs> you sound pretty impressive yeah. to me. This is this my bike. It's your bike? Oh, is it? Bike. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. How long okay. have you had it? Sorry? How long have you had it? Uh, now, uh, four years. Right? What? Uh -huh. You're a liar. <laughs> Why? My bike. It's her bike. <laughs> you got with her something. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> Oh, 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 sorry. Beautiful. The 1960s, when Britain's youth first went scooter mad. That generation's largely hung up their helmets now, but the film Quadrophenia in the late 70s at least brought back a flavour of those days. That is the lift out of stage screen and county court. Here we are. 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 Here we are.
Well, it was. Well, it started off. Um, yeah. One at lads. There was some tip paper about it, and uh, one at lads wrote off tip paper. Anyway, they've come back. Said all parts had gone, but they wanted some extras, and we ended up all going well, down. Hey. Up, going down up bikes like right here, man. It's like we're ten days down there. Did all all court scenes, all beach fighting scenes. Were you mod in those days? Here you were with me. You were both together, were you? Yeah, all right. There were about 25 on us left from club. And uh, we all met up outside uh, Julio's shop, Armando's. We met up outside Armando's and all drove down A1 together. Met up in Brighton then with Modrafini at one or two other clubs and, and proceeded to have two weeks here. party. We're not supposed to be here. Well, Interspersed with a bit of filming. Was. It was blinding, they actually paid us for, for partying. Well, could I have found? Looks like black coat juice. It's that ruddy petrol out of that it, bike, it's all right. It's, it's a gallon of red wine, a gallon. That's pure lambre petrol, mate. That'll give you some night speed, that. Just describe for me how you feel about scooters. Love that buzzing. Buzzing, isn't it? It's, it's all there. That's what I truly, truly oh, yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. What about that? Get yeah, quite emotional song. about it. Oh, yeah. oh, oh this might sum it up a little oh, bit. Oh, the religion. Is it? Is. Yeah. is it? Yeah, I think it's truly deep. Deep. No, definitely. No, without getting emotional, but yes. And it summed up once before in the, in the newspaper, and it was fashion accessory in the 60s and the religion in the 90s. Well, obviously, we're 2000 now, so maybe religion, obsession, a lot now. It's just going to go on, and it'll go on forever, hopefully. Well, I reckon you can't say fairer than that. The banter around the barbecue never strays too far from scooters and scooterists. But as evening falls, inside the marquee, it's the Mr. Lambretta competition. And your name, madam? Uh, Lupiana. Lupiana! And if anything, it proves one thing. These lads never do anything by halves. The next contestant plays Bobby Massey from Darlington. It's your own dress? No, I borrowed it off your mother. Off your mother? Does she know you're wearing it? No, she died ten years ago. She died ten years ago? She'll be smiling down on you tonight. <laughs> so much has changed since the 1960s, including the riders. I mean, chaps wearing frocks, I ask you. I mean, in my day, we wore rather fetching long green parkas trimmed with fur. Seriously, though, more than a generation and a half has passed since the heyday of the scooters in the 1960s. A lot of the people here this weekend weren't even born then, but somehow the affection they feel for the evergreen Lambretta has been passed on down through the generations. They've come from all over Europe and from all sorts of different backgrounds. But the one thing that's brought them all together is this funny little machine, Primitive. The Starfish Sisters. Well, what's a bit about that? Susan and Abandara. Mr. Lambretta, the year 2000, brought to you from Crew. Where to play? 